We are back. Listen, our first guest since 1985, he has traveled throughout the Southeast capturing and enrapturing his audiences with his old Samsonite suitcase filled with puppet props that semi-magically becomes a puppet stage. He performs at the Wren's Nest Ramblers in Atlanta and is currently serving as the president-elect of the National Association of Black Storytellers. Please welcome, with a round of applause to our show, Mr. Akbar M. Hotel. Well, thank you, Claude. Oh, thank you. Hey, it has been a pleasure. Um, I've known you for quite some time. You actually uh, performed uh, many magical stories for our daughters, uh, Shanti, and um, looking forward to having you on the show, sir. Well, I did your child's birthday. Oh, you did Did several of her birthdays back in the day. Oh, my God. You didn't tell me that, Clark. Oh, yes, sir. You know what? (laughs) (laughs) I'm so excited, but this has been happening so much this year. People that I did parties for, like in the 90s and stuff, or maybe even the early part of the, this, I guess, the last decade, I used to mm. re- could remember everybody, but I tell you, after 15 to 20 years, sometimes I don't remember. But, oh, man, I, well, I'm glad, well, thank you for inviting me to do it. It has been my pleasure. We'll have to... We'll have to have her come out and hang out with you just, uh, just to uh, bring back old times. Well, I'm going to jump right in, Ms. Akbar. You attended Historical Payne College. Uh, tell me, who were the JC players, and how did that experience affect you then? Oh, man, you just asked the core question of my whole artistic career. At, at Payne College, uh, let me see what I'm starting kind of maybe in the second chapter of my artistic journey story. But at, at Penn College, there was uh, the drama club, Mr. Taylor, James Cleveland Taylor, uh, J.C. Taylor, as we were known, always called the Mr. Taylor, was the, the drama instructor and one of the English teachers, but he directed the plays. And my freshman year, learning, learning the peer, invited me to come get involved in the, with the play. And I took the flyer and I went to the odium and I did that play and I, I I fell deep in love with theater. It had happened with my senior play in high school, but this was like September, freshman year college, and I was getting involved in the theater, and i kind of been involved ever since in one way or another. But the J.C. Players were the college drama club at historically black college, uh, Payne College, yes, in Augusta, Georgia. Wow. So, so for 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 the most part, they helped uh, kind of launch you your your theatrical and and I guess the journey into uh, uh, where you would wind up some twenty thirty years later. I don't, I don't know how you managed to like pull this question, but this question go right to the core of what I do pretty much every day over the last forty years or so. I I uh, the drama I felt real, and I just, I'm just talking straight from the heart because I hadn't thought about this answer, but it's such a core question. Uh, the drama kind of freed me to really express myself, and uh, even though I was a math major, I really wanted to do drama. And then when I came out of school, there was there was a whole thing about marketability. You want to be marketable, so you need to get degrees so you'll be marketable, not necessarily happy, but marketable. Right. So uh, I chose to pursue an advanced degree in math. And by the grace of God, man, I got back involved. Summer 1976, I went to a drama workshop at Spelman. And I'm sitting there, I'm working on Masters in Math at Georgia Tech, and I go to this drama camp. And I enjoyed it. It was like a six-week camp. I met people. And one of the participants in the camp, uh, Andrea Watley, said to me, this was after the camp. She says, I thought my cousin is coming to town to start a theater company. You ought to audition. Now, this cousin was a gentleman named Walter Dallas, who's now up in Maryland at the University of Maryland, but was here in Atlanta for about three years. Long story short, I auditioned for the company. I became a charter member of the proposition. And at that point, what I was studying to be a math teacher was so far in the background that within a year and a half, I had withdrawn from grad school and said I'll make my living as an actor and a writer. And, but the, but the part of the journey with the first question you asked, 
started back at Augusta, Georgia, at Payne College, which was an audition yeah, proposition. I was, you know, I was ready or I fitted in or I was able to perform with the company. So here we are 